Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to go over the Bravo Throttle Quadrant setup for the Airbus only. And I specifically say this setup is only for Airbus because I was scratching my head I'll have to make another video for Boeing. Because uh, in the settings menu the Airbus and Boeing specific controls are completely different and whatever you set up for Airbus may be completely glitchy and not work at all for the Boeing aircrafts. Uh, by the way, if you want to move around the cockpit like how I am moving around right now, I did upload a video on my channel uh, just today about camera setup. So you can go check that out. I'll link that in the description. Apart from that, uh, just make sure that you leave a like on the video if you like this kind of helpful content. Uh, if you're into flight simulation, aviation in general, I do work full time. Uh, so I do this just out of pure love for flight simulation. I do not gain or earn anything from this channel. So I'd highly appreciate your support here. Uh, anyway, let's start. I will enable my uh, second camera here, which is pointing to the Bravo throttle quadrant. So we are going to start from the single engine prop profile that I had created last time. If you haven't checked that video out, I'll link that one down there as well. Uh, first of all, for the throttle quadrant setup, you need to set up engine one and two uh, levers like so. And then the speed brake lever here. I have not set up, you'll see I have not set up the flap lever because I really like this clicky button for flaps instead of using this axis because the axis doesn't have any detent on it. So I don't even know what flap setting I'm on. While on the button, I know exactly how many times I'm pressing it. So it's really convenient. Anyway, once you have all of this set up, what you would do is duplicate the profile uh, that we had create la created last time. You can also start from the base profile, but it'll just be very easy and seamless if you just start from my single engine prop profile. So you duplicate this, rename this as Airbus because like I said, you cannot use the Airbus profile apparently with the Boeing. I tried and it was completely messed up. So let's not click apply to all aircrafts here because we are applying it only to this one. And then if there's another Airbus that you want to fly, then you can always switch and apply it to that aircraft. Same way for the airplane controls as well. You duplicate that and rename this as Airbus as well. I'm trying to keep the names consistent between the general and airplane profile so that you know exactly uh, what you're using it for. Next thing you would do is go to power management, throttle. We'll first set up the throttle. So delete the throttle axis that we had set up for single engine prop and make sure there's nothing else assigned in throttle here. Same way, delete the decreased throttle as well. So if you're starting from a base profile, you can you can start from a base profile. You'll just, you'll just have to delete a lot of stuff here. So you can uh, delete all of that. If you followed my last video, you would have deleted all of that anyway. So now that throttle is clean, let's uh, go ahead and set up throttle one axis. So click on this and we'll move throttle one axis from zero to 100 and 100 to zero. Same thing for throttle two axis, you do zero to 100, 100 to zero. And then for the reversers, it's kind of weird. It took me a while to figure this out and I was completely confused when I spawned in the Boeing and it wasn't working anymore. So anyway, for the reversers, what you would have to do for Airbus is assign these uh, detent buttons to throttle one decrease and throttle two decrease. We are not going to use these levers here. These are going to be used only for Boeing, which will be a separate video. So throttle one decrease, you can assign it to this button, bring it back to idle and then throttle to decrease, you can assign it to this detent button and bring it back to idle. So now what you can do is when you idle right before landing, you can idle it. And then as soon as you touch down, you can just push these two down and that will, uh, that will enable max reversers slowly, but it will enable max reversers. So that completes our throttle setup here. I am seeing a number one here. That means it has a conflict with something. So let me quickly check what the conflict is. Ah, propeller. Okay. We are going to disable that anyway. So that's fine. Now you'll go back to settings and let's set up the speed brakes and gear lever. The gear lever should already be set up, but all you need to set up now is spoiler. So you'd look for spoiler axis and assign this to spoiler axis. That should be it. From our last profile, we would have already assigned the flaps. So flaps should work right away from that. And our autopilot panel, like I'd said before, if you've duplicated the base profile, that should work correctly as well, except some of the buttons that do not apply to, uh, to the Airbus. You have all of these switches available as well. You can assign them to landing lights, uh, strobe lights, or anything, battery switches or whatever. Just make sure that you assign them to set parameters. So if you want to 
uh, let's say assign it to landing lights you would look for set land landing lights and assign it to this button for example the first one is this one so i would switch it on and then switch it off and that's good to go but i'm not assigning anything to those buttons because i because i use my mouse anyway okay so now that we have everything set up let's uh, make sure we check everything because there i'm telling you even if you set it all up correctly you'll probably have some axis that's inverted something won't work and you'll have to restart and it's it's a buggy mess so just make sure that everything works before you start your flight and stuff like that so engine one looks like it is working engine two looks like that is working as well uh, let's decrease the uh, i don't even know what happened but you can see the reversers are working because you can see those two levers uh lifting up right so the reversers work correctly you will also see that the flap lever is working correctly here the notched flap lever and you will see that the speed brake is working just fine as well now you can assign arm speed brakes to this detent here but why i don't do it is because then i'll have to keep my speed brake lever always here you'll have to invert the axis on speed brake lever and then assign this to uh, arm spoiler um, i don't want to do that because then you would have to keep your speed brake lever here which will kind of interfere with your uh, with your throttle axis if uh, if you have a big hand but if you're okay with it you can always invert the axis for spoiler and then use this button as arm spoilers button but i'm going to leave it here right now you won't be obviously able to see whether the gear lever moves or not but trust me that the gear lever right from the base profile uh, it is all already set up i have not added any assignments to these switches but you can either port over the assignments that you already had on the single engine prop um, or you can assign them to anything or just remove it altogether doesn't matter okay so before everything shuts down uh, if you shift it to altitude you can see that the altitude is changing if you shift it to V speed, you can see that the V speed is changing. If you shift it to heading, you'll see the heading is changing. IAS changes as well. You'll see that the heading and nav buttons won't work here on the Airbus because you just you're basically clicking on those to uh, get in and out of managed and selected mode. So that is fine. Approach mode, you'll see that that will arm and disarm if you press this. Um, altitude mode, obviously that will work as well. Uh, VS and uh, IAS won't work. Uh, because obviously you don't ha you don't have that uh, vs mode in the airbus it's it's a different way that the autopilot is handled and then obviously ap1 uh, works it's just that the disengage button you can't press the same button again and disengage it because i have set it up in a way that my joystick has the disengage button main thing here to set up is setting up the throttle and reversers correctly because that is a little complex and that's different between different airplanes for the airbus you can just use this as your reverser but for the boeing you will see in the next video that you cannot use that you'll have to set it up differently and that gets saved in the boeing 737 max specific controls so like you have the specific a330 controls here there's specific boeing 737 max controls and that is where you can set the toga switch and all of that i couldn't find the toga switch um, here because airbus doesn't have one so that's what the specific controls uh, section is doing here and any any controls that is very specific to that particular airplane will only show up if you have that airplane selected here and if you try to save either of those controls then you will get an option to create a new profile under that specific airplane it's a very complex system it doesn't have to be this way it's, it's i cannot fathom why they would do it this way but that's that's just what we have for until they um until they figure out a better way to do this. There will be controls that will show up for a specific airplane um, under each section and you just don't know. You just don't know which which one of these are uh, specific to those aircrafts, which one of those are actually common airplane controls. There's no way to look for it. So just some uh, quick rant on that. It took me a while to even set this up because every time I start it, something gets messed up. And then took me a while to figure out that this uh, these levers wouldn't work no matter what you do. You cannot you cannot assign these to hold reverse thrust. Can't do anything. The only thing that worked was this using this as a throttle decrease button for reverse. That's that's the only thing that worked. So anyway, uh, thanks a lot if you're still watching, and uh, I will see you on the next video. Hope that video helped out a little bit with the Airbus throttle setup.